Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a bit of a different video because I'm actually talking through everything that I'm doing as I'm doing it, real time talk through video. Um, I'm using a lot of new products that I got over the Christmas. Um, stuff either I've bought myself or have been bought for me. I think actually everything has been bought for me that I'm using. And I'm gonna do another video with stuff that I'm going to buy out of money that I got for Christmas in the future when I eventually get that stuff. I don't know when though. Um, yeah, so this is a not a first impressions because I have used a good few bits from my face right now already. But some stuff is new, um, like my it is kind of my first impression. Some stuff is not, but still new. I only have them probably a month at this point. So if you want to see how to get this nice neutral look with a little pop of colour underneath, then keep on watching. All right, so this is a bit weird. I'm like talking real time to you guys, which I'm usually doing voiceover if I'm not doing a favourites video. But my first new product that I'm going to use is going to be the Fenty Beauty primer the pro filter instant retouch primer um and i got that because i know i've got dry skin and i know that the foundation is quite matte i'm just doing this in the viewfinder by the way um so this will just give me a little bit more of a cushion feeling underneath um like i said in the intro i have used a few of these things before it's not really a first impression this guy I like because it makes the skin look really smooth, like a filter, obviously. Okay, so onto the foundation. Obviously I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty foundation because I got both together. I am in the shade 110. Um, not the lightest shade, I know, surprisingly. It's like the second or the third lightest shade, I'm not sure. You'd have to, don't quote me on that, look that up. Um, but I'm going to use this and I found the best way for me to apply this is with a Real Technique sponge which I'm usually a brush person but because this is more of a matte foundation and I've got dry skin I find that with the Wet Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge or Miracle Complexion Sponge whatever it's called I find that the moisture in the sponge actually helps with the matte on my skin I have used it with a brush and I just prefer how this looks so I'm just going to apply that all over my skin and it's a medium to full coverage so I like it more of a medium coverage because like I've said in previous videos I do like more natural looking skin and again I'm doing this in the viewfinder so hopefully this looks okay okay so we now have that on and I do realise I look like a ghost because it is slightly lighter than my skin but I did see in other reviews and stuff like that that it does oxidise quite a bit so that's why I went slightly lighter than my skin. You'll see towards the end of the video that this will settle into my normal colour. Trust me, I panicked as well when I first put it on but it does look okay once it's settled onto my skin. Um, okay, so normally what most people would do would be concealer, powder, finish the skin, do the eyes. That's not the way I do my makeup and it's not the way I do it in most of my videos as well either. Um, I will usually have my foundation on and my eyebrows on and then I'm doing my eyes and then I come back to my skin. You, you kind of see it in when I do tutorials as well but I don't explain that so I just assume people are understanding that that's what I have on but this is the way I usually start my makeup and continue with my makeup so I'm gonna go for that routine because that's what I'm used to um, and I'm going to use today Today on my brows, another new product. This is the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Um, it does come with a little spoolie on the end, which I love. Um, and it's actually a square shape, so it's not angled and it's not really skinny. It's like a square shape, so it's, it is actually quite easy to so use. I'm going to zoom you guys in and I'm going to show you fast forwarded how I'm filling in my brows with this.
eyes using Urban Decay Primer Potion. That's not a new product. That's just I didn't get any primers over the Christmas. So I'm going to go grab that. Okay, so I'm just going to prime my eyes from lid to brow like normal on along the lower lash line. Okay, so the main focus of this look is going to be the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette, but it's all metallic, so I do have to pull in a couple of matte shades. Um, I'm actually going to use another palette that I got over Christmas, is the Tanya Burke Cosmetics Too Tempting Eyeshadow Collection. And I'm going to take this one, which is Hazelnut Cocoa, um, and this is a matte, slightly warm brown. I'm going to use that just as my transition shade. And I've never actually used any of the Tanya Burr cosmetics. Cosmetics. Um, so this will be nice to see how these go. Oh, I actually like that colour. So you know, this is actually the colour I try to achieve with some of my Inglot shades. Um, some of them are too warm and too cool. And this is kind of, I mix the warm and the cool together to get this sort of shade. So it's slightly warm, but it's not orange, because everything goes quite orangey on me. So I'm just using a MAC 224 and I'm blending that right into the crease. Um, so once we have that all on, I am going to move on to the Urban Decay palette now. So I'm thinking I might do like neutral on top and then colour underneath. Um, these shades are beautiful. The only way I can describe them is like foil shadows. But I'm going to start off with the shade Maiden which is on the neutral side is this guy here so from the bottom up here so I'm going to take that on a MAC 239 little flat shader brush and I'm just going to pack that on the inner third of my lid see there just how sparkly and shiny that is all right so once we have that guy on stick him with the same brush and I'm going in with the shade scream so still on the neutral side this guy here diagonal to maiden so this is more like a taupey sort of shade it's actually one of my favorite shades in the palette I'm applying that right in the center of the lid slightly overlapping it with the Golden Maiden. Just so you can see different shades coming through. So this palette I actually got for Christmas off my boyfriend and I kind of gave him ideas of palettes that I wanted and asked him to pick whichever one so I knew it's still kind of a surprise. Um, and surprisingly enough this is the one I wanted the most because I f felt like this is the most interesting one with all the different metallics in it and it's no mattes in it. You know, and it's not just warm browns and there's colours and everything. And I just love the texture of them. So this is the one I was like the most excited to hopefully get. So I'm going to stick with the same brush. I'm going to stick with the same brush again. And I'm going to take the shade Rody. So it's not the most kind of rusty one. It's just below that one. And I'm just packing that on the outer third of the lid. Okay, so now that I have all these shimmers going on on my lid, I'm actually going to darken my outer corner. And for that, I'm going back in to the Tanya Burr Cosmetics palette. And I'm going in with Chocolate Coin, which is this deep brown. So I'm going to take the Chocolate Coin shade. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner. There is a bit of fallout, but that's okay. That's why I don't do my concealer before. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the outer corner and bring it into the crease slightly. And go back in on my 224 and just blend the edge out. Really. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, so once we have a nice blended out crease, we're gonna move on to the bottom lash line. This is where the fun part comes in. This is where all the colors come in. So I'm gonna take this one here, which is actually such a nice color. It's called Metalhead. And we're going to the colorful side. So we're on this side now. This is Metalhead. Hi camera, hey. Taking that on a little teeny tiny little brush like this. Um, if you ever see these brushes in my video, I got these of, um, is it Nadia or Jadia or something like that on eBay? Like, we're talking, what, eight years ago now and I still have them and they're still so So nice. I'm going to take that on the little brush and I'm going to run that under my eye. Just to the outer third of the eye because like I said, I do want to fit as many colours <coughs> as I can. So next I'm going to take the shade amp so it's like a teal down here i was going to use um dive um but i want something that's going to blend into this green so i want the teal shade to be nice in between um so i'm going to use that okay so going in with that amp shade i did bring the purple over a little bit further than i intended um but that's fine because i'm going to be overlapping them anyway and this colour is so strong anyway, it doesn't really matter, that it just goes right over. Leaving that inner section here, because I'm going to put green and silver. I have to fit it in there right now. Okay, and then last kind of colour colour of the palette that I'm going to use is going to be the shade Mullet. And I kind of use want to use this because one, it's green, which is one of my favourite colours. And two, I love the name. It is this like foresty grass green. There you go right here I'm gonna pop this on that inner section but not as far as the tear duct so i'm not bringing it all the way in here i'm leaving a gap there because i do want to put another color there like i said we're gonna fit as many colors as we can on the eye i'm going to go back into my skin a little bit and i'm going to use the mac pro longwear concealer under my eyes and over the rest of my face and i'm in the shade nw15 so now my skin looks nice and flawless dark circles are gone um, I'm going to finish the eyes off. This is my usual process of doing my face when I'm getting ready at any given time. So I'm going to go in back into the Tani Burke Cosmetics palette. I'm going to take Creme de la Creme, which is a matte like highlight shade. It's lighter than my skin, so I'm going to use that under my brow. And I'm just going to pop that under my brow. And this will also help blend out any edges that are a bit harsh. And also kind of blend them down a little bit because sometimes you can blend a bit too high. Okay, so you got that guy on now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do <laughs> two inner corner highlights, which is a bit extra, but hey. I'm going to go back into my neutral side first and I'm going to take Angel Fire. This guy here, it's right next to that like rusty red shade. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to pop this on the top part of my inner tear duct so up here make sure it blends into maiden and then my second inner corner highlight i'm going to take the shade glam rock love that name where is he here the silver on the bottom i like how they have the silver and gold together because they're like the two metals um so glam rock right here so that guy is going right next to the green right here so just for something interesting on the bottom. Because like I said, I want to try and use as many of these colours as I can. Okay, and the eyeshadows are done. So let's keep going. I'm going to do a nice little flick with my liner today. And I'm going to use the MAC Brush Stroke Liner because it's my new fave. I just keep, it's just so easy to use. So I'm going to go in with that guy. And I'm going to speed this bit up because I ain't going to be talking during this.
I've got my liner done, I'm going to start doing the finishing bits on my eyes. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Crave, which is like, um, how would you describe it? It's almost black, but not quite. It's got a hint of purple and a hint of grey to it, so it's not really black. Um, it's a really nice pencil, Just it's just a bit softer than black in my waterline. So I'm going to run that just in the waterline. Really make sure it connects right here with that liner. Now, that was not a new product by the way. That was not, I've had that for years. Um, this guy is a new product though. This is the e.l.f. Mascara Primer. Just looks like this. I've never used this before. Um, and I've only ever really used the MAC False Lash Maximizer for like actual eyeshadow eyelash primer because I just tend to not bother with it really um, and I love that so let's see how this goes this is obviously a lot cheaper than the MAC one and I'm only going to use it on my top lashes because that's where I need the most volume kind of added a little bit of length but nothing too shocking so while that's setting, I'm actually going to do my bottom lashes and I'm going to use my old reliable MAC Extended Play Mascara. This is just smudge proof and I only really use it on my bottom lashes um, because it just doesn't budge on my bottom lashes. But it's not enough value for my top lashes if that makes sense. So I do use two mascaras. I always use this one on my bottom lashes or like a tubing mascara or something like that on my bottoms. And then I'll use something more dramatic on top. A great one if you do find that your mascara smudges and the wand is like teeny tiny so it's going to be really easy to get into all your lashes Okay, so the top lashes should be set by now. Next, I'm going to do another MAC mascara. Um, this is the Hot and Naughty mascara. It's one of those where you open one, the pink part, you get more natural, less product for daytime, if that's the way you do it. And then you open the purple part, and it's got more product, and it's more dramatic. So I'm going to use the more dramatic side because, hey, I'm not wearing false lashes, so might as well do the drama. So I'm just going to pop that on the top lashes. Okay, so the eyes are done. I am not wearing lashes because I don't really want to, to be honest. And you don't have to wear lashes for every single makeup look that you do. So, okay, so let's finish the skin off. I would normally powder my skin right now, um, or most people would normally powder their skin right now. But I've got another Fenty Beauty product that I got. I have used this already as well, but this is still new. This is the, what is it, Matchstick Shimmer skin stick this is in the shade yacht like so i'm literally gonna take this and i'm going to draw this on my cheeks like this it's got a slight gold shimmer running through it kind of reminds me of like nara's orgasm blush or mac peachy keen blush but in a stick form um, and then i literally take my fingers with that and just tap that in it's almost like a creamed powder sort of finish beautiful and so on. I know by my skin and with this foundation being more of a matte finish that I could easily just go with no powder on my skin and I'd be fine but I am going to powder because I normally would um, and I'm going to use the MAC, this is not new, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light and this is a nice little combo with this foundation because it is more of a sheer texture with the powder and it's mineral based so it's a bit more breathable for the skin um, and I'm just going to lightly, I don't want to over powder my skin because it is more matte and my skin will be dying if I do. So I find just a really light dust of powder. I'm going to go in with another Tanya Burke Cosmetics palette. This is the Sweet Cheeks Face Palette. But this is just a bronzer, blush and highlighter. Definitely for pale skin or maybe medium, maybe not with the bronzer but definitely pale skin anyway. And I'm just going to use the bronzer out of this palette because it's actually a really nice golden tone. Kind of reminds me of 
Benefit Hula Light, which is my fave. I'm just going to really lightly dust that around my skin. Um, I'm going to finish my cheeks off and I'm going to use something that I'm so excited to use and I haven't used it yet. My One of my friends got me this. This is the Makeup Geek Highlighter in Glitz. And I just love the tone of this. She knows me. It's a pinky undertone. It's not a duochrome though, but it's like a pinky shimmer for your cheeks, which I love on my skin. So I'm gonna take that highlighter and I'm gonna use the 133 brush from MAC. It's just like a little flat brush like this. I'm gonna take some of the product and we're gonna apply this. Yeah, be careful with this. This is pigmented. <laughs> I love it though. Oh my god. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, so I actually don't really have that many lip products. I've got a lot of glosses that I got, but I don't know what I want to do. Uh, let me go into my collection and have a little look and see if I can okay, find Okay, so I found something that I think will be okay to use. I'm using the e.l.f. matte lip colour. Not new. This is just for my own little stash. Um, and this is in the shade nearly nude it's just a nude like i would say it's kind of like a creamy matte sort of texture and um, so i'm going to pop that all over i'm not going to use a pencil because it kind of is a pencil um, and i know what gloss i want to put on top so let's do it i do actually forget that i really like this color i love this tone on me i love a pale nude i do i really do so we're going to go in with the MAC Vamplify, which I think is limited edition, not too sure, can't remember, um, Saws, but I'm sure there's something like this, but I love this kind of colour, it's beautiful. The Vamplify glosses, as far as I know, are glossy, like a lip gloss, but they're quite pigmented, so they give it a lot of colour. Um, this is in the shade Go For Pretty, and it's just like this shimmery, pinky, nudie sort of shade, love. This is like my favourite kind of colour in a lip. So let's pop that on top. All right guys, so that is your finished look. Um, it's wearable, I would say, very wearable for me. Um, it's just a little bit of pop of color underneath. It's actually a nice way to add a bit of color in if you're not used to wearing color. Just doing it on the bottom uh, lash line because it's not as in your face. Um, but I love, love, love this palette. I love it so much, it's so pretty. Um, and I love most of the things that I have on my face right now. So the only things I'd say are a bit iffy is probably the e.l.f. lash primer. Um, and what else would I say is a bit iffy on my face? Um, that's kind of it actually. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this little like real time talk through my makeup routine with my new products that I got not a first impressions but still new products and stuff you're going to see in videos coming up um I have lots of plans for videos coming up as well and I am thinking let me know how you feel about this I used to upload on a site called Makeup Bee and um, it was like a Facebook for makeup posts and stuff like that it was actually really nice I liked it they had competitions and stuff like that and it was really fun that is since gone and a lot of my posts that I've put on that have gone since. Now obviously I still have those pictures and I still have those looks like saved but I've no videos for these looks and I have had a couple of people message me and comment on videos saying that they would like, they remember seeing those pictures on Makeup Bee and they'd like me to do a video of those. So I did a Disney Princess series on that website and I'm thinking of recreating my looks to do a tutorial kind of this exact same process as how I did them then but obviously more skilled because it's a couple of years since and I've had more practice so let me know what you think about that and um, I am thinking very strongly of doing it because I'd like to have all my work that I've done in previous years have videos for them because I'm very proud of a lot of the stuff that I did so let me know what you think of that that'll be a little series that I might do throughout the year Um so yeah if you did like this look give me a big thumbs up hit subscribe and leave a comment if you do have any suggestions and if you do feel like that's a good idea for me to do and I'll see you in the next video guys bye